the marathon, one of the greatest feats of strength and endurance in the world. Some runners prepare for months, maybe even years. But for today's challenge, we're going to complete a marathon without any training. What kind of effects would it have on your body? Well, on today's episode, we're going to find out. This is your body on, running a marathon without training. It's common knowledge that a marathon is 42 kilometers long. But have you ever heard of an ultra marathon? These are races where people run anywhere between 50 to 5,000 kilometers. Some races take place over several days. Nearly 50% of the competition fail to complete, but the rest do end up crossing the finish line. So if these people can run hundreds of kilometers, surely you can run a measly 42K, right? Right? Okay, let's get off the couch and do this thing and see what's happening inside your body as you run. Kilometer one. Your body shouldn't have a hard time handling this at the start. Even without training, you should be able to complete this distance within 10 minutes. And as you continue, your lungs will start to expand more rapidly. You'll also feel the need to breathe with just your mouth rather than your nose. This allows your body to pull in more oxygen and at a much quicker pace. Kilometer five. So by now you've been running for at least half an hour. If you're not used to physical activity, this would probably be the point where you'd end your attempt. But that's not really our style on Your Body On. We finish our challenges, no matter how hard they might be. So get moving. As you continue running your marathon, you'll notice your body feeling much hotter. Let's take a closer look. At the beginning of the race, your core body temperature was around 37 degrees Celsius. Now, if you're not used to running, your temperature will rise to 39.4 degrees Celsius. This might not sound that bad, but it's the equivalent of a high fever. And the higher your core temperature is, the more difficult it is for your heart to pump blood out to your muscles. Do you think you'll be able to make it to the end? Let's keep going to find out. Kilometer 15. You're now about two hours into the marathon. You're incredibly exhausted, but the good news? your body is burning an insane amount of calories. At the start of your run, your body was burning about 150 calories every hour, but now your body is burning nearly 800 calories per hour. That means you can eat a Big Mac and a small order of fries and within an hour, burn the entire meal off. Kilometer 33. Okay, now your run is becoming more difficult than ever before. You've hit what's known as the wall. This happens after your body has burned its entire supply of glucose. Glucose is stored in your muscles and liver and is your primary source of energy during your run. Normally experienced runners will start their marathon off slow to avoid this part of the race. But you came bursting out of the gate and now your glucose is expended and it's harder than ever to keep running. Your muscles now need more to help operate and as a result, you're feeling more sluggish than ever. Kilometer 42. By this point, you're at least six hours into this terrible idea. An experienced runner would be finishing the race with shin splints, stress fractures, and other muscle injuries. But for you, the muscle tears would be even worse. You also have an increased amount of lactate in your leg muscles, which will lead to cramps. At this point, you'll be lucky if you can crawl to the finish line. But your leg pain wouldn't even be the worst part of all this. Your kidneys would suffer even more. A 2015 study found that 82% of runners had stage one acute kidney injury immediately following a marathon. These injuries happen when your kidneys aren't getting enough blood flow. They're also due to dehydration. During this time, your kidneys aren't able to filter toxins out of your blood. So yes, in theory, you could finish this marathon without any training, but you'd probably end up bruised and beaten and possibly in a hospital bed. Yeah, this is a challenge you don't want to try. If you want to run a marathon safely, here's some advice. Coaches say that you should run a total of at least 48 kilometers a week for five to six weeks. And you should be able to do this comfortably if you want a real shot at this race. Remember to stretch as much as you can, to stay hydrated, and to walk when you're feeling weak. This will help you finish the race without any serious injuries. 
Follow this advice so you can kill this challenge instead of having it kill you. So that's your deep dive into running a marathon without training, and it's tough to recommend. What about another test of your body? Like eating McDonald's for a year straight? We'll see what that challenge brings on the next episode of Your Body On. <laughs>